Pastor Miguel. How are you doing? I hope that you're doing fine. How are you doing in school? I know that online is different, but I also know that you will do your best, right? Do you remember that I shared last week that we as a church are celebrating the season of Advent, which brings us expectation as we wait for the coming of Christmas? Why? Because we are preparing for the birthday of Jesus Christ. Yay! And guess what? You can count with me how many days are left for the celebration of that day. So look at this calendar. We have one. Come with me, guys, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Yes, 10 more days. 10 more days. Let me ask you a question. Are you sad when you celebrate your birthday? Of course not. There is joy in your hearts, right? Well, during this season of Advent, Pastor Miguel has been preaching about four special words. These are hope, and peace, and joy, and love. But today, I would like to share with you a little bit about joy. What is another word for joy? Let me tell you, the dictionary says that other words are delight, happiness, pleasure, enjoyment, bliss, thrill. Those are wonderful words, right? We hear the word joy often at Christmas, like in the song, Joy to the world, the Lord has come. We see it in Christmas ornaments, like this one. Look at it. also says joy. And we see it in so many other different places. When Jesus came to earth, and what Jesus did on earth was not the presence and candy cane kind of joy. Although that kind of joy is a lot of fun. The Christmas joy Jesus brought us and that we get to spread is the kind of joy that makes the world a better place. I have a trick to help you to remember Jesus Christ. Chris, Jesus at Christmas, the joy of Jesus at Christmas. Say J is for Jesus, remembering that Jesus came to earth as a baby, God as a human, to show us what real love is about. He gave himself to change the world. Say O is for others. Showing others a special love and care, especially those who are sad, hurt, or need help. Say J is for you, knowing that you are a special. You are loved. You are all a gift from God. Kids, I want you to look out at all the people that you have around in your family, friends, teachers, classmates, and you will know that they are also special for you. Cool, right? Another good way of remembering joy is through a candy cane. Look at this candy cane. It looks like a J, right? The J of joy that brings Jesus to us this Christmas. So every time that you see a candy cane, remember Jesus joy. Or in other ways, Jesus bring us joy. I would like to invite you to pray now. Let's bow our heads and pray. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus. He gave us the greatest gift of all himself. We pray for others, others who are sad, hurting, and need help during this time of the pandemic. We care about them, and you do too. Give them peace. They are so special and so loved. Help them to know that your joy is with them, 
each and every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you next week, and God bless you. Don't forget, joy to the world. Bye-bye.